everybody and welcome to The Forward Line. Um, you're probably a bit surprised to see me today in the video. Um, unfortunately, Kate's a bit unwell, so she's not able to do the video this week, but I'm here and I'm going to do my very best uh, to do her usual weekly video on what the new pattern releases have been this week. Now, we've had loads and loads of stuff. I mean, particularly in September, but e even coming into October, there's been so many pattern releases, which has been great. So lots of inspiration for your winter wardrobe and Christmas parties and other celebrations that you might be going to. So I've just got my laptop here and I'm going to be running through some of our favourite releases this week. Um, and so just to make sure I give you all the details, I've got everything up on my screen. So the first thing um, I want to tell you about is the new Talco magazine. So this is issue five of the magazine and it's currently on pre-order because it's not released until the 20th of October. So um, at that point, Kate will probably show you, you know, inside the magazine and all the pages so you can get a better look. But at this stage, you can pre-order it. Um, and so I thought I'd just give you um, a little sneak peek of the cover and some of the patterns as well that are in the video. So the theme um, for this one is wool and being cosy and obviously being released at this time of the UK, at this time of the year if you're in the UK it's perfect because it's started to get a bit chilly now. Um, so there's lots of articles inside to read about like wool production in Europe and interviews with um, textile artists as well, so all those are really interesting. Um, and in this issue, there's lots of collaborations with independent designers from around the world to create the patterns, which is really nice. So you might recognise a couple of them in there. Christine Haynes has done a pattern um, and also Lisa Faulkner as well, who runs the Avid Seamstress and is based in the UK. So there are, just let me double check, there's 10 patterns in total and um, the size range is approximately UK 6 to 32 and they all come on um, paper sheets at the back of the magazine. But I think I'm right in saying that they do, they are double sided. So you would need to do some tracing depending on which pattern pieces that you want to use from the magazine. So yeah, so Kate will show you a bit more about that in a couple of weeks time, hopefully. Um, and next up, I wanted to tell you about uh, Vogue Patterns is having a sale. Now that runs from the 7th to the 23rd of October, and that means all their patterns are 50% off. And I know we've just had a Simplicity sale and a McCall sale, so there's another one coming right through. So um, definitely go and check those out. Um, and I thought I'd show you a couple of our best-selling ones from this year. So the first one, um, is the absolute classic uh, 9075 and this is this was released quite a while ago but we're still selling loads and loads of this one and I think the reason why everyone likes it is because it's got princess seams down the bodice and you can do sleeves or no sleeves but the sort of trouser kind of part of the jumpsuit um, they're really wide legs so they look like culottes so it's a really kind of flattering shape and I think you can, you can make it really nice for a party, or you could just make a casual version for today, you know, day to day, and both would work really well. Um, and there's also a dress option too, so if you wanted to make a skirt version, but most people I've seen have made the jumpsuit version. Um, so there's that one that'll be in the sale. And then uh, another one I wanted to mention that's been selling really well the last couple of months is the 1783. Now this is another dress. Um, and it's a shirt dress, it's buttons all the way down the front and it goes to basically, you can have it sort of knee or ankle length. Um, and it's got a proper collar stand and collar on it. Um, and you can have, the, the sleeves are quite big, they're very kind of voluminous sleeves um, that go down to your elbow. Um, but the really interesting detail about it is that you've got these double princess seams that run all the way down the front and basically down to sort of the waist and then they open out effectively like their darts. So you've got really big volume in the skirt and I think it's quite, it gives it quite a dramatic look but they also run down the back of the dress too. So it goes over your shoulder blades and then stops again at the kind of back of your waist and opens out so we've got again loads more fabric. So I think if you, if you had a special occasion this dress could look really really dramatic, uh, make quite a statement. Um, there's also a waist tie as well, if you wanted to add that on. But I think the way that the sort of shaping is with the dress and the princess seams, you probably wouldn't wouldn't need it. So more of a decorative addition, really, rather than anything else. 
So yeah, so that sale runs from the 7th to the 23rd of October. So do check out um, all the bow patterns. They're gonna be half price because everybody loves a bargain. Um, and talking of commercial patterns, um, New Look have released uh, a new collection recently. Now this is very summery, so it might not be kind of the right time of year if you're thinking about autumn winter plans, or obviously if you're on the side of the hemisphere, then this is ideal. Um, and obviously these, all of these new look ones are in paper format, um, and the size range does vary. So in this new collection, um, most of them actually only go up to a size 14, so not, not inclusive. Um, but there is one of the patterns that goes up to a size 24. So I'm just going to show you a couple to give you a kind of flavor of the new collection. Um, so the first pattern um, that I was gonna talk about is the new look 6729. And I picked this one out um, because it's got cut out detail at the waist. And this is really on trend at the moment to have sort of cut out sections of different parts of garments, you know, on shoulders, at the waist, you know, different areas. Um, and there's several patterns in the collection do have these cut out details. So I just wanted to highlight um, this one. It's a pull on maxi dress and it's got elasticated sort of shearing under the bust. Um, and also around the uh, wrist, it's got elasticated as well. So it's really easy to pull on over, you know, if you were kind of at the beach and you wanted something to go over your swimming costume, that kind of thing, this would be perfect for that. Um, and the other one I wanted to mention, um, which has a better size range, is the 6733 from New Look. Now this has got like a it's twisted, the fabric is at the front, you can see in the image that I'll add up. Um, and it's gathered in around the neckline. Now I'm not like a massive fan of this sort of limey green colour, um, but I was thinking that if you did it in a really nice soft knit fabric that maybe had a little bit of like sparkle in it, just subtle, that it could be a really nice jumper for kind of going to say, um, you know, work Christmas lunch parties, that kind of thing. Um, or other celebrations. I just think you could you could really make it nice with it if you chose like a really kind of good fabric to go with it because the detail of it is quite interesting and it also ties at the back as well. I'll pop a photo up of that. Um, you've got two choices of sleeves for this one as well. It's either a puff sleeve uh, or a big sort of flutter sleeve as well. That would look really nice for sort of party season as well. Um, so I think this could be a good option uh, if you look at sort of for a different fabric basically for it. So that's new look. Um, next up we've got some more indie patterns and um, Marilla Walker has released a new pattern and it's called the Lace Wing Top. And as she put on Instagram uh, this week, it's very aptly timed um, with Halloween coming at the end of the month if you did a lacy version. So this top is, um, it's got a cape-like uh, shape to it and you can wear it as an open jacket, um, a button-up kind of shirt, or as a jersey top. So there's loads of variations that go with this. Um, it's got really simple construction. So I think, to be honest, you could have this sewn up in a couple of hours. So if you're looking for something where you just want to get your, you know, sojo back, uh, just a nice project to fit in one afternoon, I think this would be perfect. Um, and you can also, the good thing about it is you want to make it in a light to medium weight fabric, but this can either be um, a woven or a knit. So that makes it really versatile for winter and spring too. Um, and this is available as a PDF um, from us and it's in a sizes 6 to 36. And next up, so we have Itch to Stitch. Um, so she's released a, a, a new dress and top pattern. Um, and really like the sort of simplicity of this, but I think the fit would also be quite easy to do as well. So although it's got a wide kind of waistband at the back, it's elasticated with, with kind of shearing. So there's no zip or any issues like that. So I think you could basically just pull it on and it would be much easier to fit. And there's no darts either because you've got a gathering into the waist and into the neckline. So I think this is what really appealed about about this pattern. So it's available from us as a PDF um, and the sizing is about an A to 34 but there's also cup sizes too and they're from A to double D. So there's plenty of kind of variations that you can do to make it fit really well for you. 
Um, so the two variations are a dress and a top and the dress has a little peplum below the elasticated waist and the dress just goes to the knee and then you've got a couple of different short sleeve options too. So I think this is a really nice make. I think it'd be a great everyday kind of dress to wear. So we'd recommend um, having a look at that one. And then finally, um, I wanted to talk to you about the new Iron Patterns collection. So this launched only a few days ago and there's four patterns in the collection. So there is lots to talk about with this. Um, okay, I had a chat to the rest of the team and our favourite definitely is the Hatha vest. So this is like a gilet, uh, so it's not, not got sleeves and you could make it out of a really lovely quilted cotton um, and it's a great transseasonal piece. So at this time of year in the UK where you know we've got this kind of colder mornings and evenings, if you're going out on dog walks, things like that, this would be absolutely perfect. And it's probably an item that a lot of us haven't thought about making for our wardrobes. You know, we probably make jackets and coats, but have we got that many of these kind of intermediate kind of pieces? So uh, I definitely recommend checking that out. Um, so for all of the patterns in the collection, we have them as a PDF and they are sizes um, kind of UK 6 to 18. So for this gilet, you can either do a zipper or um, prestos down the front. So you've got a couple of options there. Um, and then the other patterns in the collection, I will run you through those now, are the nude trousers. So these are very sailor inspired and they've got a kind of front flap at the front of the um, jeans where you've got the kind of um, jeans buttons that run down the side sort of where your pockets would be. So that gives it, does give it a very kind of nautical feel to it. They, uh, they're quite short, so they finish at the ankle and they kind of taper down to the leg. Um, so if you're kind of thinking about anything a bit similar to um, the jeans, the trousers that were on the Great British Sewing Bee earlier this year, then they, these have definitely got that sort of feel to them. And then the third pattern is the recoat. So this is a really classic duffel coat. You've got toggle closing down the front, really big patch pockets. It looks so cozy and warm. So obviously this project would be quite a bit more involved than the others. Um, but a really good investment piece, I think, for winter and you would just wear this for, you know, winter season after season. Um, and it just, it just looks, it looks really good on the model. And then finally, the last pattern is the Hesat blouse and dress. Now this has got lots of volume to it and it gathers um, into the neckline. I was just going to check. Um, so yes, yeah, so that's it. It goes into sort of shearing around the around the neckline. So you've got those kind of gathers of fabric, and then this sort of like little ruff around the neck, which is really nice. Um, it's got inseam pockets too. So for anybody who's kind of thinking of this for party wear, you can put all your bits and pieces in your pockets. Um, and again, the fit for this would be really easy because there's loads of ease around the bust, waist, and hips. So you wouldn't need to worry at all um, about fitting with this one. So. That is it for this week. Loads of new stuff, but don't worry, there was still plenty more that Kate be talking about next week. We just couldn't fit it all in one video. So I hope you have enjoyed hearing about all those new releases. We've got links to everything I've uh, talked about below and a blog post as well with more details. And um, Kate will be back, hopefully. She'll be feeling a bit better next week and normal service will resume and she'll be doing our videos. So thank you very much for listening and uh, we'll be back next week with some more interesting videos. Bye.